Hello, this is Bill Bogdanovich, President and CEO of Broadreach Healthcare. Welcome to our annual remembrance service. The pandemic has reshaped many traditions and rituals that bring comfort to those who have lost a loved one. This has amplified the grief and loss our community feels. While we cannot gather physically together, we can share a safe virtual space to pause, to reflect, and to celebrate the lives of those who are no longer with us. For all of us who cared for your loved ones directly or indirectly, it was an honor to be a part of your loved ones' end of life journeys. And it wasn't unusual that your loved ones themselves offered us the reassurances. Their perspectives were powerful. And so at this time, I convey our reassurances to you in hopes that we can help make this journey even a little easier for you now. May this virtual remembrance bring you comfort and connection and hope. Thank you for the privilege of having us in your lives. Thank you for joining us for this year's virtual memorial service. Each year, the Broadreach Hospice team gathers together the names of those we have helped at the end of their lives. It is our opportunity to remember them, to celebrate their lives, and to commemorate their deaths. Although we are very sorry that your loved one is a part of our service this year, we want to tell you that their lives and deaths matter to us. In this particularly hard past year, the challenges have been even greater. Although COVID precautions keep us from gathering together in person for this service this year, and even though we cannot hug you and offer comfort in person, know that we are with you in spirit and in our thoughts. We'd like to share the image of this tapestry with you. Imagine that each person is one strand of the tapestry. Alone they have texture, color, a certain heft or airiness to them. But when combined together, when our lives touch and intersect, we become a part of a much more beautiful tapestry. This tapestry was made with love and care by a member of the Broadreach Hospice staff. Each of you who've lost a loved one this year have received a letter with a piece of this tapestry on it. We want you to know that your loved one was important to us and our lives are brighter and more beautiful for having been a part of their lives. This tapestry will hang in our offices, reminding us of your loved ones. We hope that this time together today helps you. You are not alone. We acknowledge your grief. This is really hard. And we hold on to hope with you and for you. Join with us as we light this candle of remembrance. May the light shine in the darkness. May our hope burn brightly.
I want to say something to all of you who have become a part of the fabric of my life. When the time comes of our particular sunset, our belongings and our accomplishments won't really matter a great deal, but the clarity and care with which we have loved others will speak with vitality of the great gift of life that we have been for each other. I started in the hospice field as a volunteer after losing a loved one many years ago, and I thought being a volunteer would help me through the grieving process, as well as being able to help and support patients and their families through a difficult time. It was a wonderful experience and one I'll never forget. To our hospice families, I'd like you to know that each and every one of you, each patient and each family member is so important to us. And we consider it an honor to be able to be part of your journeys. When my heart and my soul need healing, I take myself to the place that I love the most and that's right to the ocean. This is called, I Believe, it's a song by Diamond Rio, a country music band. Every now and then, soft as breath upon my skin, I feel you come back again. And it's like you haven't been gone a moment from my side, like the tears were never cried, like the hands of time are holding you and me. And with all my heart, I'm sure, we're closer than we ever were. I don't have to hear or see you. I've got all the proof I need. There are more than angels watching over me. I believe, oh, I believe. Now when you die, your life goes on. It doesn't end here when you're gone. It never ends. And if I'm right, our love can even reach across eternity. I believe, oh, I believe. Forever you're a part of me, forever in the heart of me. I would hold you even longer if I can. Oh, the people who don't see the most say that I believe in ghosts. If that makes me crazy, then I am, because I believe. Oh yes, I believe. There are more than angels watching over me. I believe, oh I believe. Every now and then, soft as breath upon my skin, I feel you come back again, and I believe. Something Beautiful Remains by Martha Vashti Pearson. The tide recedes but leaves behind bright seashells in the sand. The sun goes down but gentle warmth still lingers on the land. The music stops and yet it echoes on in sweet refrain. For every joy that passes, something beautiful remains. The more I contemplated, the more I realized death. It's it's unavoidable. Um, it's the only thing in life, sure, is life itself. But it doesn't have to be scary. And 
We don't have to do it alone. We don't have to despair. If I can even help bring a little bit of peace or hope or understanding uh, to one of the hardest times um, these patients and families may ever face, then why not? You don't have to do this alone. You don't have to go through this alone. No one deserves to die in pain or to die alone. Uh, we're here 24-7, 365, and when you're with Broadreach, your family. I find hope, I think, in the small things, um, the small moments in the here and the now. No one is ever promised tomorrow, uh, and I can't go back to yesterday. And, you know, that's already came and gone. Um, it came with its own joys, its own heartaches, and uh, I suppose that's the beauty of life. It's the utter joy and the heartache and everything in between. A litany of remembrance. In the rising of the sun and its going down, we remember them. In the blowing of the wind and in the chill of winter, we remember them. In the opening of buds, in the rebirth of spring, we remember them. In the blueness of the sky and in the warmth of summer, we remember them. In the rustling of the leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we remember them. In the beginning of the year and when it ends, we remember them. When we were weary and in need of strength, we remember them. When we are lost and sick at heart, we remember them. When we have joys and we yearn to share, we remember them. So long as we live, they too shall live, for they are now a part of us as we remember them.
having had a lot of experience with death in my own life, caring for both family and friends at the end of life, I've seen both positive and negative processes. I've also worked with families who have experienced multiple and complex trauma for 22 years. So it just made sense to me that with all my experience, I would have a lot to offer so that I might help patients and their families find some comfort and control during the end of life. I want our families to know that our team comes from a place of care and compassion and that we are here to support you in your journey. I believe that when one door closes, another one opens, and in that way, hope is always present. When all the world is a hopeless jumble and the raindrops tumble all around, heaven opens a magic lane. When all the clouds darken up, the skyway there's a rainbow highway to be found leading from your window pane to a place behind the sun just a step beyond the In a lullaby Somewhere over the rainbow Skies are blue And the dreams that you dare to dream Really do come true We have come to the end of our annual remembrance service. I would like to close in the way we began, expressing our enduring hope that this time together in sacred remembrance has created a sense of comfort, connection, and hope for everyone who's watching, not only now, but also in the future whenever you watch this video. The beauty of having a recorded virtual gathering is that it can continue to offer you comfort, connection, and hope. We shared a sacred journey with you as we cared for your beloved. To help bring them to a peaceful end, we shared your journey and your burdens. Your loved ones became our loved ones. Your heartache became our heartache. And now we share your sorrow. Yet out of that sacred life journey has come this virtual journey of remembrance where your memories can linger longer and be all the more sweet and enduring. It has been our great honor to accompany you. It continues to be a blessing for us to provide the comfort and care of hospice so that no one is alone at the end of this life and everyone is remembered. The light shines in the darkness, hope burns eternal, and we remember. Mm -hmm.